Welcome back everyone to another video. In this one, we'll be taking a look at sort of a benchmark between two types of heat sinks for the Raspberry Pi. Now these heat sinks are in no way specific to the Raspberry Pi and I do intend to use them on other ARM based SoC as well. But to test them, I am going to use the Raspberry Pi 3. So our first heat sink has a 13mm by 13.5mm base at a height of just 10 mm and our second heatsink is a 15 mm cube both of them are made out of aluminium but the black one has well black paint all over it and also has a much thicker fins than the silver one giving it much less of a surface area now let's see how each of them fare out with and without the help of a small 5 volt fan for active cooling and again i will be stressing the raspberry pi 3 by compiling FFmpeg from source since that represents a fairly well uh, non-synthetic load and all of this at the stock 1.2 GHz clock. Starting from the hottest to the least we have the Raspberry Pi 3 running without a heatsink or a fan coming in at 83.8 degrees Celsius maximum and remember that the Raspberry Pi starts throttling at 80 degrees Celsius so that's a bit higher than we want to go. Next up we have the shorter black heat sink without a fan at about 81.5 uh, 81 degrees Celsius maximum. Uh, still thermal throttling can be seen but it's not that much. And then we have the silver heat sink without a fan at 75 degrees Celsius and here we have finally achieved stable fanless cooling and without any signs of thermal throttling at all. Next we have the results with fan uh, starting with the bare CPU without any heatsink but just a fan right on top at around 73.5 degrees Celsius followed by a black heatsink with fan at 60 degrees Celsius and finally we have the silver heatsink with a fan at 55 degrees Celsius. So there is not much to conclude other than the obvious statement that the larger heatsink is better for fanless cooling. Apart from that uh, not having any heatsink or fan the performance wasn't uh, really affected that much. So that was it for today thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and I'll see you all in the next one.